This is a smaller scale model of a Peterbilt 351 tractor and refrigerated trailer built almost 10 years ago and inspired by this picture of the real truck at an unknown location in one of the western states. I started with AMT's 143rd scale Peterbilt 359, which was one of a small number of kits in this scale which were quite well detailed considering the size difference between these kits and the 125th scale ones. The frame was assembled out of the box, however I replaced the kit's Detroit V8 engine with a Cummins engine from the 143rd scale Kenworth cab over, which was the only other 143rd scale truck that AMT offered. There was a wrecker version of the Pete 359 and two van trailers, beaded side and exterior post versions, and that was as far as this line of kits ever went. The cab, sleeper, fuel tanks and battery box were all assembled per kit instructions. I did use styrene sheet on the sleeper to represent full height doors. The hood and radiator shell were narrowed to match a 351's hood width, and here the modified parts are on the left with stock parts for comparison. The narrowed hood was attached to the cab, and the interior was assembled, mostly stock, with the addition of a fan on the dash made from laminated clear styrene discs. The hood was attached to the cab, and the interior was assembled. Now, it's starting to look more like a truck, but it could use some wheels. These are the kit 10 hole wheels, with every other hole filled with styrene rod. Once these are sanded and painted, they're a reasonable representation of 5 hole aluminum wheels. Brass wire was used for sleeper steps and the fenders were modified and attached. The screen grill texture on the kit's radiator shell was removed for installation of styrene strip shutters. A scratch-built air cleaner and intake pipe were added, along with bumper and headlights. And a final coat of red paint. Next, the air conditioner was installed on the cab roof and the fenders were painted black. The white stripe was cut from white decal paper and the air cleaner and fuel tank straps are strips cut from chrome mylar tape. Door handles are bent from dressmaker's pins and the door lettering is printed on white decal paper using artwork drawn with a simple CAD program. Mirrors were soldered from 20 thou brass wire, and the mirror heads are styrene strip. The wipers are also made from styrene strip, and the stack is aluminum tube. With the tractor complete, a trailer was needed to complete the rig, and AMT's stock 143rd trailer kit is a good match for the prototype. The nose section was sanded smooth to match the real trailer, and horizontal ribs were added using 40,000 styrene half round. At the back of the trailer, the strips were left extra long and trimmed back to finish length later. Model railroad detail parts were used for the door hinges, and a spare tire carrier was formed from styrene channel. On the, on the refrigerator unit, etched stainless mesh was added to the grill and the ladder was soldered together using 20 thou brass wire. The trailer lettering was drawn on the CAD program and printed on clear decal paper. Inkjet printed decals do have limitations due to the limited opacity of the ink, but red lettering on a silver trailer is feasible. Completed and ready for the road. Some light weathering was done on the tires, battery box and fuel tanks, to match the dusty appearance of the real truck in the picture, and the model photos were taken outdoors in natural sunlight. <laughs>